Hello, baritone vocalists. This is a video on smoothing out the break, the so-called secondo passaggio. As a singing instructor, I spend most of my time working with individuals, helping them smooth that out. And this video will take you through the process that I use to help people do just that. Opens up range, expands possibilities, just gives us a lot more choices on how we're gonna approach the upper register or high notes uh, that we need to sing. Before I dive in though, thank you if you've chosen to subscribe, and if you haven't, I'd hope that you'll consider to do so. Um, if you have questions or comments, you can drop them in the comment section, or you can try out a live event on Saturday evenings at 6 p.m. London time. Uh, I take questions and give examples, and there's a chat thing, and it's really, really fun. Uh, and lastly, these videos and the channel in general is open to fan funding, and every bit helps to keep me going and keep these videos coming. Now. The first step in this process is identifying where the transition point is, and for most baritone vocalists, it's going to be somewhere in the order of middle C to E flat above middle C is the general zona de passaggio uh, transition area. All right, and so what we do is we work it down with the lip trill. So we might start here with an octave arpeggio. We're going to go down. <laughs> And we ascend from there. Now notice how the sound changes from being really, really hollow above the break, and it gets very narrow below. I'll demonstrate here. Learning to make that transition is really, really key to smoothing out the break because what we're really learning to do is to go from thyroarytenoid dominant singing to cricothyroid dominant singing. And to do that sound, it's that, that yawn it open that you hear voice teachers talk about frequently where you're fake, if you fake a yawn, you can probably see my larynx dropping. It's those muscles at the back that are going to help you keep the larynx in a neutral or semi-lowered position, and that will give you that hollow sound. It makes it easier to make the transition. So let's practice that again. Now, this video is very progressive in that each of these exercises, you could work on that for a week, all right? But if you've been successful at it, this next exercise narrows the interval that you have to adjust from chest voice to head voice, crico thyroid dominant to thyroarytenoid dominant. Oh, excuse me, thyroarytenoid dominant is the chest voice, crico thyroid dominant is the head voice. And what we do there is we use just a one three five three one arpeggio. So again, the top note and the top note alone is going to be above the uh, above in the zona de passaggio or above the secondo passaggio. So we can start here, for example, and it's a narrower a narrower interval we have to adjust. Try that with me. Again, you can still hear that hollow to narrow, hollow to narrow. And we can practice that too. Now the other thing, the next step for this is to then try ascending as well. So we can do... The importance being getting back to that hollow sound. Let's keep going. Now, 
And once we're getting good at that, we can start assessing our ability to do a descending pattern in a scale-wise pattern. So we can start with ooh, you, 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 you. Again, very hollow above. You, 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 you. Getting to that narrower sound on the bottom. Let's try that. You, 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 you. You, 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 you. And keep going. likely out of the secondo passaggio area and you're getting just purely into thyroid dominant singing chest voice for our purposes here try to keep it light we, we we want to be lighter on the bottom so that we have an easier time transitioning up when you've been successful with ooh you can try e e is a much narrower vowel and this vowel is going to help us retain more resonance across the secondo passaggio. In other words, it's going to help the sound of our voice match below the below the break and then above the break. So we go we 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 still for the time being though emphasizing that openness. We 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 and with me we 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 Out of the zona de passaggio, really. We, 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 and one more for fun. We, 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 we. Let's do the sequence again. And we, 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 we. towards more legato singing. The more that we move towards connected singing, the more we're getting closer to being able to use this range in a song, and that's the ultimate goal. So we're gonna do May. May is a little bit wider than E in terms of vowels. We can still narrow as we descend. The M sound is partially phonating, meaning that we can use the M to set up the, the initial tone here, but we have to be careful that it remain light. Try that with me. And descend a little bit. Notice how it still gets narrow as we descend. Let's do it again. And As you get to these more legato or connected exercises, if you find that you're struggling a little bit, reassess the alignment of your vowels in your thyroarytenoid dominant singing voice, chest range, okay? Reassess the alignment of those vowels if they are not in alignment. And what that means is that in your regular range, <laughs> Those all sound relatively the same. It's just the vowel sound that's changing. The resonance and the placement is about the same. If that isn't occurring for you, 
That's an exaggeration, of course, but if that's similar to what you're experiencing or you hear aspects of that change in placement, you've got to assess how your vowels are aligning in your regular chest voice before moving into the zona de passaggio in your upper register. It will make it so much easier if you get them to align first in the chest range. Also, address your airflow. Check out my video on Apoggio. I'll put a link on the screen, that, that card thing. Okay. The video on Apoggio will help you understand breathing for singing. The practice is really, really good. It has had a dramatic impact on my voice. Truly the most significant change I've made in, in many, many a year. Now, that was a long time ago, but nonetheless, when I did it, utterly different. Okay, so do check it out. Because now in this last exercise for this video, we're going to start with an A vowel, that May syllable, but we're going to sing back up and down through the zona de passaggio. So what you get is May, 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 May. A nice legato line. Try it with me. May, 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 May. I do hope that helps. Thank you for watching my video. My name is Jeff. Take really good care of your voices. Enjoy singing, and hopefully we'll see you again. Bye.